For more on the new findings, let's talk to our correspondent Hannah Boucher in Sydney. Hello, Hannah. Tell us the latest. Well, as you know, the Australian Air Force has been uh, searching this very large area since Monday, and uh, they've had the help of the New Zealand Air Force and also the Americans. And uh, this satellite imagery uh, was brought to the attention of the Australians uh, this morning, and uh, Tony Abbott addressed Parliament a short time ago and said that uh, they're not 100% sure whether it is uh, related to the Malaysian Airlines aircraft, and uh, let's keep this uh, realistic. There have been a lot of uh, false starts and a lot of uh, false satellite imagery thus far in the uh, search since the 8th of March. But this is certainly uh, a development that uh, everybody is watching very closely. And uh, as far as we know here, the uh, Australians were supposed to have a plane in the area uh, where the objects are being located on satellite imagery at about 2.15 Eastern Standard Time Australian, that's about 11.15 Beijing time, so uh, no doubt we'll be getting more information very soon, and there is a press conference from the Maritime Safety Authority here in Australia in a short time, so we'll have updates for you. Uh, a US Navy commander has actually told the ABC, which is Australia's public broadcaster, that a US P-8 is actually nearing the search area where Australia uh, noted these two objects of, uh, of, of interest. Thank you very much. Our correspondent, Hannah Boucher in Sydney.